Hello everybody, Chris here, and today we're going to talk about Hardware Monitor by CPUID. This application is very much a what you see is what you get kind of app, so when you boot it up, it's going to start recording different statistics about your system, such as your CPU, your graphical processor unit, and the battery, and the details of that including the temperature that it's running at and how much of the power of the component is being utilized or basically out of the hundred percent that it can be doing throughput or running uh, for maximum capacity how much is it actually taking up um, the same thing for like the GPU with the battery you can see uh, what it what your uh, devices uh, what your battery's current charge is out of the maximum charge so for instance if your current charge is stuck at a number uh, I, d I don't know if this is a real problem that ever happens, but if it was stuck at a number and not actually reaching the design or full charge capacity, I mean, there could be an issue there. And really, um, with just seeing this data, it's not going to filter out all the possibilities for whatever issues could be uh, happening with your hardware components or your drivers. But what it does do is give you information to go and dig deeper, uh, reading up on other sources about what may be the real problem based on the symptoms that uh, all of this data is telling you. Now, beyond just tracking this information, what it can do is uh, export the same information as a text file. So if we go to save monitoring data, we can save all of this information currently as a text file, which may be something that's useful if you're going to call in a technician or get anyone else working on the problem, or if you just want to save a copy of the statistics so that you can reference it later. There's a lot of information to go through here, and some of it may be useful. Um, now, once again, it's just a tool for you to help troubleshoot your own problems or for other people to troubleshoot your problems. Uh, but really, it, it is going to involve looking a lot more stuff up. But this is the starting place for getting your issues fixed, knowing what's going on and what all of these numbers are for your computer. In any case, I've been Chris. This has been a quick look at HW Monitor by CPUID. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, consider donating to my Patreon, and I'll see you in my next video.